Today we're going to do the Baccarat method with a solid bridge. And we're going to go through all of the supplies that are needed. So first of all, we have Zonus tape. This is one inch Zonus tape. Q-tips. Duct tape. Alcohol. Ear cleaning product. This is an antifungal ear uh, foot powder that we're going to use inside the ears. Kindle Covidian tape. Baccarat. I happen to use 5 8 inch. You can use 1 half inch or 3 8 inch. I prefer the 5 8 and I use it through the entire posting process. Cotton squares for cleaning the ears. Scissors. And those are our supplies for doing our ear posting. Okay, we're gonna start with cleaning the ears. So I take two Q-tips together. <laughs> I have, uh, this is an ear wash with tea tree oil. This is an older product. I don't even know if this is still available. So I'm just gonna wet the ends of the Q-tip and I've got two of them. I'm gonna clean inside the ear. This just makes sure that we don't have any, anything growing inside there. No potatoes. No potatoes. Okay. And this dog has had his ears posted previously. Okay, now I'm gonna take the dry end of the Q-tip and do the exact same thing just to clean everything out. Notice I'm not going too deep in the ear. I don't wanna actually damage the ear itself. I just wanna make sure I've cleaned everything really well inside. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ear. Two Q-tips, and I like using two because I feel like it's a, a larger diameter and keeps you from actually going inside the ear too deeply. So same idea. I'm just going to clean inside. Now what a good boy you are. Good job. Good boy. And his owner did a really good job of cleaning his ears earlier, so they're not <laughs> bad at all. See, I got a little bit out of there. Now I'm going to take oh. the dry end. Watch out for your hands. <clears throat> and do the exact same thing. Can you see inside there? See, I'm not going too deep, but I'm making sure that I'm getting any residue that's left inside there. I know, Bubba. Okay, so that's it for inside the ear. Next, I'm gonna make sure that I don't have any kind of oil on his ears themselves. So I'm gonna take, this is isopropyl alcohol, and just a couple of cotton squares. I know, sweet boy. So I'm just gonna wipe the insides of his ears. And this is great for removing if you've used Unisolve or anything else. This just makes sure that you don't have any kind of oily residue on the inside of the ear so that the posts stick really well. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> good job. What a good boy you are being. He's like, hey, my toys are down there. Good boy. Okay, now we're gonna let them sit for a couple of minutes so that they dry completely. We want that alcohol to dry. You can see there's a little bit of a little bit of grease and oil that came out of his ears. The length of the back of rod. So you can see the base of the ears. And I'm gonna take the back of rod and just run it a little bit lower than where the base of his ear is, up to where the tip is. I'm gonna measure that with my fingers. Add a little tiny bit extra. 
and that's about the length of my baccarat. So I'm going to take the scissors. The great thing about baccarat is it's so easy to work with. There's one. I'm going to make the second one the exact same length because his ears are the same length. And that's all it takes to measure them. Next step is to strengthen those posts. So I'm going to use duct tape. Some people use Gorilla Tape. It doesn't matter what you use. Just make sure that you do something to strengthen those posts. Because you can see this is very, very flexible. And that's not going to be strong enough to hold those ears in the upright position. So I'm going to use my duct tape. I'm going to wrap it around the back of rod. It doesn't have to be perfect, which is a good thing because duct tape is very sticky. Notice I made it a little longer than the actual post itself. I'm going to straighten everything out before I seal everything together. Wrap the duct tape. Now if you've used half inch back of rod, you probably need a second layer of duct tape because I'm using the 5 eighths. The single layer of duct tape is fine. Get a second post. Very sticky tape. straight and then wrap the duct tape. Okay, now that I've created the actual base post, <clears throat> I'm going to cut this piece at an angle. What this does is regardless of the age of the puppy or how big the puppy's ears are, this is gonna allow the, the base of the post to go down into the ear. I'm gonna do this on both posts. So I have each of them at an angle. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, so we have our posts created. Now we need to back wrap them. Back wrapping just means making the tape sticky side out. Now, I prefer Kendall Covidian tape because it's very, very sticky. Um, it's a lot better for the posts themselves. So you're going to go around the post all the way until you get to You've wrapped over itself. Now you're gonna fold it backwards. And now you're gonna start what we call the back wrapping. So you can see this is sticky. And we're just gonna wrap backwards all the way down the post. Now I use one and a half inch Kendall Covidian tape because the one and a half inch means I have to do less taping on the posts because it's very sticky. <laughs> okay. I get all the way down to the base. I'm going to cover up all of the duct tape because we don't want the duct tape to ever be in contact with the puppy's ear. Okay, and once I've gotten that, I'm going to make it as smooth as I can. 
It's okay if there's some creases, but I'd like to make it as smooth as possible. So now that I've got the post completely covered, cut this tape. Okay, and here's our first post. So you can see we have that little bit of angled part at the end. That's the part that's gonna go into the puppy's ear. Okay, there's the first post done. We're gonna pre-cut some pieces of tape. This is Zonus. This is one inch Zonus tape. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. And I use a, a grooming table with a grooming arm. I just find that very easy to work with. I, obviously, you're not gonna have that necessarily. How long would you say that is? That's probably about eight inches. So I'm going to do two that are that length. Then I'm going to do two that are probably six inches or so. And then I'm gonna do two more that are probably about four inches. Ooh. And these don't have to be perfect, just need to be <coughs> approximate lengths. So there's my tape for the ear post. So here's my two ear posts, pre-cut tape, and you can put those on the, the side of your table or your cabinet if you've got them sitting on a, a countertop. The, the key is to make sure that you've got them all available to you before you start. We're gonna start with powder. So as I mentioned earlier, this is an antifungal foot powder. And what this does is keeps any fungus from growing inside the ears. I'm just gonna put a small amount inside the base of the ear. And I'm gonna keep him from shaking his head. So you notice my helper here is holding onto his head pretty well. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> so this is gonna, if the, uh, if the powder gets spread all over the ear, the tape is not gonna stick. It's right at the edge of the table. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the post and it doesn't matter which direction you go. The point, the important part is that you've, you've cut this at an angle. I typically go this direction with the, the thicker part toward the inside. I'm gonna put that fairly deep I'm stretching the ear. I don't know if you can see this. I'm stretching the ear up, and now I'm gonna press that onto the tape of the post, okay? So, now I'm gonna take my longer tape. You're always, 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 always wanna wrap toward the inside of the ear the inside of the head. So I'm gonna stick the tape a little bit onto this post. I'm gonna wrap to the inside. Notice I'm not squeezing, I'm not pulling the tape tight. I'm just gonna wrap this very loosely. I'm wrapping loosely around the ear. And then once I have it wrapped, I'm gonna squeeze it. What that's gonna do is keep me from constricting blood flow in, in the ear. I know, Bubba. Now I'm gonna take one of, my, one of my short pieces. I'm gonna go the same direction. Same direction. So I'm gonna stick the tape onto the post. I'm gonna wrap, I'm not wrapping tightly just very loosely. And then once I've got it wrapped, I'm gonna squeeze. And now I'm gonna take my medium-sized piece. So 
the second piece was the four inch. This was a, about a six inch piece. So I'm gonna do this. So you went from eight to four to six. Correct. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna attach the tape to the post. I'm gonna loosely wrap around the ear. Once I've got everything wrapped, I'm gonna squeeze. And what that squeezing does is it attaches all of the tape. So you'll notice the tape is all the way down to the... <laughs> we, want, we just want to lay down. Okay. We just have to pick a position. So the tape goes all the way down, but notice it's not tight across the, the front of the ear. Okay, so we've got both ears posted, and at this point, I typically add one final piece of tape just to give some extra support on the bases. I'm gonna lay down. You get comfortable, Vane, and we'll just work around you. <laughs> so this piece is a little challenging to explain. So you can see he shook his head with all the powder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tape and I'm gonna run at an angle downward, and then I'm gonna fold it back up. So I'm getting the tape down to the base of the ear. There's so much powder on here, it may not stick. Can you see it? It needs one more, one more strip of tape. And this is because of all the powder. So he shook his head while I was posting the second ear. So I'm just adding one more layer around that. Okay, so what this does is it gives you tape across the sticky part of the post a little lower on the ear without putting additional pressure here across the top of the ear. So now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other ear. And this piece of tape is probably five or six inches long. And dust off as much powder as I can. I'm gonna come down at an angle. And I'm gonna fold it back up on itself. And I'm gonna go around the ear. And this one's also gonna need an extra piece just because of all the powder. Come on, little boy, one more piece. And this is just to give it a little extra security. Okay, now my ear posts are completed. Next step is to add the bridge. Okay, so we're gonna measure the bridge. We want the ears to be at the 11 and one position. So we don't want them straight up like goalposts. We don't want them at 10 and two, like a good driver. We want them at 11 and one. So I'm gonna measure a piece of backer rod. Notice I've got it right on the top of his head and I'm gonna measure it so that it's putting the ears right about the 11 and one position. I know, sweet boy. I know you'd rather not do this. Okay, so I've marked this with my thumb. Take the scissors and cut this. Now I'm gonna make this the same way I did the post. I'm gonna wrap it with some duct tape and that's all I have to do. I don't have to wrap it with, don't eat the tape. Please don't eat the tape. Okay, so I've got my backer rod wrapped with duct tape. The next step is to actually tape it in the position that we want. So there's a couple of different ways to approach this. You can do a figure eight. You can do what I typically do, which is to essentially make a tape bridge at the angle you want the ears, right? So we set 11 in one position. I'm gonna stick this 
onto that piece of tape. Come on, Bane. A little cooperation, buddy. I'm gonna wrap the tape. Notice I'm not I'm not pulling, I'm not again, never do anything tightly on the ears. Once I've got it in the right position, okay, so I've got my 11 and one. Now I'm gonna just gonna take a short piece of tape, maybe four inches long. And this is just a little bit of extra security. I'm gonna wrap it around the post itself, the, the actual bridge. And what this is gonna do is make sure that it stays in place. Second piece, about the same length. Same idea. Go around the bridge. And there we go. And then give treats. And then lots of treats. And Bane's a good boy. And there's your backer rod with a solid bridge. <laughs>